I'm participating in Camp NaNoWriMo. Kind of. Let me explain. Now, you're probably looking at the title of this video, and if you watch my goals video as well, you're probably slightly concerned for my mental state because I have repeatedly mentioned in the past couple of videos how little free time I have, and I want to spend that free time learning languages. I am spending the month of April doing the 30-day ASL challenge, um, so the fact that I am also making this video here to say that I am also participating in a Camp NaNoWriMo, very kind of d intensive depending on how you do it, a uh, writing challenge, you're concerned. And you know what? If that's how, what you're thinking, you are, you have all the right to be concerned with my mental health and my insanity um, because I would be too. I would be too if I was on the other end of this camera, um, but I'm not. Give me a second, I can go around to it, but I'm not on the side of the camera currently. So let me kind of explain just a little bit more about what I mean when I say I'm doing camp NaNoWriMo. So if you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it usually takes place in November. It is a big thing in the writing community and it is National Writing Month. Uh, na nano, nano, National Writing Month. Na NaNoWriMo. Am I missing one? I don't know. Anyway, it's usually this really big thing where you try and write a whole novel in the month of November. They have two Camp Nanos where you can set your own goals. It's in April and June or is it July? I don't know. It's been a while since I since I was in this writing community officially. So it's April, which means that it is one of the camp months and so people can set their own goals. They can outline, they can they can do 50,000 words if they want. If you want to know more, go follow my friend Sophie. She is a big writer. She writes all the time and she participates in every single camp and nano no matter how busy she is. So she's a queen, she's an icon. We love her go watch her videos. I'll leave it down below um, if you want a little bit more information. But how am I going to do this? Because as I, like, like I said, I already have so much on my plate. And so trying to also participate in some type of writing challenge on top of college, work, YouTube, and my language challenge, it doesn't seem possible. And that's because it's actually kind of not possible. There's only 24 hours in a day and I really love my sleep. So it's not possible. It's improbable. When somebody says impossible, they usually mean improbable. Anyway, um, what I mean when I say I'm going to do Camp NaNoWriMo is I'm going to be translating a book. That would also be a clickbaiting title because I'm not actually a translator. I'm very, very much so not proficient in Swedish at this point in time but I'm going to use the month of April to try and become more proficient in the language. As I am spending the month of April fully involved in ASL, but I don't want to lose my progress in Swedish, I am going to have kind of a limited amount of time to practice and study ASL. So the way I decided to do it was to try the method of translating a book from one language into the other language, either your target into English or English into your target or your native to your target, target to your native, whatever. I haven't heard many people try doing it from their native to their target language, but I kind of really do need the writing practice and because I hate uh, journal entries and trying to write a journal entry, that tip doesn't work for me. So I thought of this idea and I was at work and I saw a Scooby-Doo book and I was like, that looks so great. I love Scooby-Doo, okay? Not, we don't, not Velma, never watched it, hate Velma, don't like Mindy, Kinley, whatever her name is anymore either because of that abomination, but I love the Scooby-Doo, and I mean the original Scooby-Doo, all of the beautiful animations, not Velma, I love Scooby-Doo. So when I saw that we have five Scooby-Doo novels at work, I had to check one out, and this was the first one I picked up. So this is Scooby-Doo do in the vampire's revenge by james gelsey and it is very much so like a graded reader in english and i opened it up and i was reading it at work not like actually reading it but i was kind of wanted to see what it started with and i was like rick or reek scooby barked from the back of the mystery machine 
And I was like, hmm, okay. The idea started, and then I said, no treats here, Scooby, Fred said. Sorry, and I was like, Fred said, yeah. And then it just kind of started to compound. I did it with um, the, like, don't worry, pal. And I was like, the order would be worry not, friend, compass, compass, right? Is that how it would be? And I just got this idea of translating this very tiny, itty bitty book into Swedish. Maybe I won't be able to translate the whole thing, but this I feel like is going to be a great way to work on my writing in Swedish and sentence structure in Swedish. I suck at sentence structure. Um, without having to try and think of my own thing to say because I don't know what to write in a journal entry. So this is the idea I had. And that is what I mean when I say I'm participating in Camp Nano because I am going to be translating this adorable little thing into Swedish. For my own personal use, I will not be re-uploading it anywhere. Um, I just want to translate it and kind of see kind of see. I mean, I know there's words in here I don't need to know. Like vampire is not really one that's high up on that list of words I need to know. Um, before what C1, C2 level ever, ever, you know, it could be ever, never ever. But I don't know. I just thought this would be a fun way to learn and I will t obviously tell you guys how it went. Um, I don't, I'm not going to write every day, but this is the idea I had. And I also kind of really want to read this, so it's like best of both worlds. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. I know it was rather short, but I just kind of wanted to make this video to kind of tell you what I was doing, and of course, so that I could do the slightly, maybe, clickbaity title. Um, I had the idea in my head, and I, I had to let the intrusive, perhaps, thought win. So, yeah. But I'm excited to give April a try, and I hope you guys stick around to kind of see how it goes. I do plan on making videos on my ASL challenge. They probably won't come out till May, because I want to edit them all together and stuff like that. I don't want to focus any time in April <laughs> to videos like that when I could spend the time. So I got three videos filmed for April. In my opinion, that is like plenty. And um, yeah, so tak. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Subscribe for more, comment down below if you want. I love to read comments. And yeah, adios, hey do, au revoir, salut, goodbye. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaky bulldozer. Mm -hmm.